Hey, you comrades, and welcome to the Communist Party with Varistone. Greetings. Ah, we're five episodes in. We came up finally with a name for the, the campaign. I mean, you, these guys have been seeing it in, like, the title of the videos for five days now or something like that, but we only just came up with it. <laughs> it is a new day, a new dawn, a red dawn, in fact. I, uh -huh. Red Dawn's like a movie. I have no idea if this is an appropriate reference because I don't know if I've ever seen it, but we are communists. There's a Red so... October, too, right? Or oh, right yeah, there's Red October, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the submarine. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to continue going for now. Things are pretty chill. There's this sort of ongoing war with Romania. But it occurred to me, because it's a few days since last time we recorded, hey, I don't have a lot of tech, but I can probably make room to research and organize paratroopers. And I'll just drop some paratroopers in Bucharest, and that'll probably be the end of the war. When, uh, whenever that happens, so. I'm gonna unpause here. So yeah, it's okay. gonna be fine. Uh, on your armies that are pushing there, I don't know, like, if they've got a battle plan, like, you might just want to hit the stop button. Just, like, preserve some stuff, because right now nothing is still going on. And some of your troops, um, are being attrition a little bit. Like, you could probably pull, like, half of these dudes away and just put them on, say, the Polish border. Mm-hmm. Especially since Germany's starting to get some troops on the Polish border, or what used to be Poland. All right, I, I'm just um, sort of solidifying my armies real fast here and trying to give them all like new commands and new everythings. Yep, always good. Put them all on the fr same front line. So I've unpaused here. Ka the fall of Cairo. Cairo has fallen to the Italians. Well, Italian territory. I don't know who actually did the take in there. That's true. Germany is truly and properly in a war against the Allies now. So it will keep them busy for a little bit, but we're going to have to keep an eye on them. Because at some point, they will turn on you. Well, yeah, and I expect that it'll be, uh... It's going to be hell, I think. I, I need to... I'm worried. My biggest worry, though, mm -hmm. is just in trying to, to keep those tanks from smashing my face. Yep. Have you researched anti-tank weaponry? Um, I believe I have started in on that. Okay. Did I not? Uh... And if you research it, make sure that you're also producing that type of stuff, too. Okay. I need to select half of these guys and... Oh, rip Denmark. Nope. There we go. doing hang on this needs to be infantry too although i think i will change my mind about the mountaineer stuff in the long run mm -hmm. just because of equipment stuff yugoslavia joins the allies german reich declares war on yugoslavia and this is not me at the moment because i'm still having issues <laughs> um hungary joins the axis now the scary thing would be like romania join the axis be like, what? There you go. Yeah, you got all one big army there now. That'll probably run better. <clears throat> I'm um, currently still trying to figure out why I can't set my divisions of 49 divisions into an offensive line. I can't push them. It doesn't give me the ability to do that. You have to create a front line first. Oh. Well, yeah, the only front line you have is for 17 divisions here. Now, if you just have those people selected, you can always control click on a front line and it'll assign them to it. All right. All right, there we go. All right, Red Finland is being a super bro. Keep sending me gear. Nice. We like that bit. Mm hmm. All right. So I've got all my troops reorganized on the Japanese slash nationalist China border here. Mm hmm. Because at some point that's going to start. Croatia declares war on Yugoslavia. Croatia joins the Axis. Well, all right. So all that territory over there is going to be a giant Axis block. Mm-hmm. But I guess right, that's okay. My... There's some planes over here. Let's go, guys, please. Building one transport plane per month. That'll do. We'll, we'll be able to drop some paratroopers there in, in a while. Uh, unlock special forces tech. Yes, please. I'm getting some extra planes over here. Extra, mm, taking extra attrition as well. 
By the way, you have uh, no actual um, no actual marines attached to your like marine invasion there. Um, they all die. No, oh. they're just sitting there. They got pushed back. Yeah. Oh, maybe they went and then yeah, stop because they are trying to attack a, a like defended port. So that's very hard to invade somewhere like that. I'm sending my two divisions to try again. Maybe we should actually get. <laughs> oh wow! I just realized I'm down to how many ships? What? Romania has been kicking my ass with ships and everything. All right. <laughs> Although I, I send a lot of ships over here to Japan. That's the other thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is this is not like uh, this is not like EU four or whatever. It's the no. combat signif feels con significantly different. <clears throat> I'm putting claims on Poland. Damn it. Uh oh, Japan is justifying against the Soviet Union. I hope you got some troops over in the uh, the east here. Well, why would I do that? <laughs> um, right. I gotta keep all my dudes over here. I should be able to push Japan out of Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. I think, anyway. Um, I do need to worry a little bit more about some other parts of my front here. Um, let's get... these guys in here with that. And all those guys are moving over. Um... Oh, research finished. Improve radar. Take it. Also, I've got so much extra stuff I could be doing. Um, factories for days. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Actually, I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on my tanks, and I'm just going to trade in for more stuff. Oh, you know what? It's sort of motorized. Let's get more strategic bombers and more fighters. 67 to 67. Now I'm done. So to do some trade again, I'm going to look for who? Maybe South Africa. All right, because I need some rubber. Yep. Well, if ever we get into a war with the Allies, we can get all the rubber we ever want. <laughs> mm. no. You might be able to take that, that port because it's only being guarded by a single cavalry uh, division. You're making some progress on it. Mm. Oh, yes, you're right. Demand French Indochina. Oh, they're doing a specific war goal. They're not taking uh, one of their national focuses. That's interesting. I don't know if I see the AI do that very often. <clears throat> Air research time, agility. Can hardly disarm after these threats. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm working on uh, reliability of my bombers, if I can pull that off. Yeah. Um, may as well put you in there as well. Oh, I still need so much of this new infantry equipment. So many upgrades waiting to hit the field. I'm short on stuff. Not short enough to justify trading away more of my very few factories. We've got radar stations. Maybe we should start building some of these, especially on the... Uh, the coastal front. bits. Oh, they do yeah. make your uh, planes, you know, be able to find enemies a lot easier. There we go. Action or anything. So yeah, you're going to be neutral, which is good. We got some mountain terrain over here. War plans being prepped. Insufficient resources. Did I not trade in for the extra uh, rubber? I might have traded for some. I don't know. Maybe I didn't get enough. I mean, I tend to only trade if I'm short by, like, about eight, because eight is how many you get. So if I'm only short by one or two, I don't, like, care at all, because it's not worth trading a factory for that, but yeah. Uh, some of the things might not be arriving. If your transports, if your convoys are getting, like, shot down or something like that, that's not going to work out. Yeah, you are, you're, you're advancing, man. You're advancing into Romania. Well, that's, that's good. It's happening. It's finally happening. Mm-hmm. 
And all it took was me to make one giant army instead of, I don't know, five different. Yeah, well, it, that might be part of it. Like, they do organize slightly differently and potentially slightly better. Um, the other thing is, if you have a really, really long front, like the front that you have sort of in Japan, and the front you'll have later against um, Germany, which, by the way, when Japan declares war on us, like, you're going to be at war with Germany. Oh, okay. So you might want to, you know, have some troops. Um... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, but if the front is too long, sometimes the units spend way too long shuffling back and forth, and it's better to make two short fronts, like have one deal with like half the border with Poland, and then someone else do half the other border with Poland, that sort of thing. But your mileage may vary. It depends on the situation and lots of different stuff. I finally have a dockyard, so I'm going to slowly start building convoys. Okay. Very, Very slowly. Good. I'm wondering, uh, let me take a look over here. Uh, is my, is my, are these people moving still? Oh, it's just taking them a long time to get over there, isn't it? It's taking attrition walking across <laughs> my land. Oh, yeah, that that's definitely... Oh, yeah, your troops that are moving east? Yeah. Because yeah. it's all, like, mountains and desert and no infrastructure. Yeah, it takes a long time to go from west to east and back and forth. Like, you're going to want to definitely, like, keep people in one end of the world. Because <laughs> it's insane, yeah. It's terrible. So when they finish their um, claim? Okay, it's still going to be a while. It's not going to be until November when they finish fabricating their claim. So we're good. I'm going to go up to speed four for now. Okay. Right, Trying to figure out where weapons. I want to put my Done. tanks. I'm going to research paratroopers because I still think that's going to be important. I don't. Did you ever get the paratroopers in there? No, because I think I've just got tanks in there, and I'm yeah. punching through the line now because of my tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. They they might have gotten worn out. They might have run out of equipment and or manpower as well. Okay. And their things might not be fighting as well. But reorganizing was also good. But no, I'm just researching paratroopers now. I don't even have them. No, oh, hungry and demands Transylvania. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, right. and the Transylvania, they, they, they refuse. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Right, um, special forces discount. Claims on Poland. Okay. Because I already know that, you know, the Reich is going to come after me. I mean, why wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. I've openly opposed them. At last, or at least oh. peace was preserved. Now Romania is returning Transylvania. Oh, wow. National unity. Division recovery rate is actually really good. But. Okay. You know what? Let's get nuclear effort. Interception. Um. You're doing it. You're right outside Bucharest, man. Japan demands French Indochina. See, that's interesting. Oh, and actually France capitulated that. Actually, that's... Hold on. That's very interesting for a couple of different reasons. Uh, I'd actually hope that maybe the Allies would, would jump into the war, but maybe with historical focus on, they, uh, they weren't interested in that. But why that's interesting is because now Japan has, like, Vietnam. Assuming I'm getting these parts of the world right. Uh, and that's right. where all the rubber is. You know how we're short on rubber? Yeah, we're not going to be short on rubber for that much longer. Give me two seconds to keep moving some dudes around. My army's going to be a little thinned out, but that's just going to be a temporary thing. I'm going to get, I don't know, a group of ten people over here. Okay, I'm pausing. And I'll make a new commander. So you are going to be assigned to this border here. I can't seem to figure out why I cannot add... There we go. Except it's still not working. These guys are all part of the same, but I can't get the... Oh, maybe I don't have enough transport ships. No, I got 14. I've got 11 divisions. I should be able to get over there and do things. Or maybe it doesn't matter anymore. Not technically, because... No, it doesn't matter. Um, is there anything I can add here? No. And there's no way I have oh, that's... spare artillery for anything like that. <laughs> I'm trying to... Uh... Send troops to Bulgaria. I'm not at war with Bulgaria. Oh. I was like, why is this not working? <laughs> yep. No, I, yep. I've done that. You saw this times. Bulgaria. Like, everyone in there is the Axis now. Other than Romania. Luckily, you like... We got that shit going on. Okay. Beforehand. If we take a look, they are... Oh, they're only halfway to capitulation, which is kind of surprising. 
Because you've got Is Bucharest, there a way right? to select oh, no. you know, all of my unassigned divisions at once? Yeah, shift click the icon. That was added uh -huh. in a recent patch and is glorious. That is helpful. Mm hmm. So I'm just going to add all these guys to there. I should do nuclear research. Well, there's other things I need. For example, I need to start doing some tank research just so I can get access to heavy tanks. Mm hmm. Because I'm going to do that. I mean, unless I lend lease everything from you, but that'll eat my freaking. Or not lend lease, but. Um, lease the design. Hey! There you go! I think I finally got it. So I'm just going to hit done to give me. to give all the points to you. You just need right. everything. Yeah. Well, I don't. Oh, shit. There we go. Take all states. Demands, all that, and. Uh... Wait, do I not have enough? Oh, I don't have enough. Yeah, that's okay. You'll get a second pass. Take as much as you can. And then okay. hit, like, end turn. Like, we'll hit as many as it lets you take while still having the end turn button. Okay. Uh, which is, okay, everything up to Modovia. Actually, yeah. I can take Modovia and just end turn that way. Excellent. So I'm just going to hit, um, I'm just going to hit done here. Okay. There you go. You should be able to keep taking. If you can't, for some reason, you can pass. And I think that's it. Maybe. Does it look like all states? Mm, and I, I can have, sit done? I'm not sure. Done six and states. done. I, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's all. It looks like it to me. All, all right. right. Now you're going to want to like reorganize your troops, because here's the thing, right? When Japan declares war on you, they'll probably call in the Axis, which is going to be Germany, Hungary, Bulgaria, um, Italy, of course. Which mm. is actually everything you're bordered with. So Germany, Hungary, Italy, and Bulgaria. And I mean, there's some other people too, but you need to set up fronts with all of these. You probably don't want one mega front. You're probably going to want a few shorter fronts. Not overlapping. You're not going to want like three armies on the same border again, because that didn't work out with Romania. <clears throat> actually, here's an idea. I was thinking, what if I what if I defended exceptionally well or, or, or you know, have, have shorter... Um, Offensive lines, or, or I guess defensive lines, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it, uh, and then have a, a bit in the middle, somewhere uh -huh. that is weak, to sort of let them push through it very fast, and then I can move in, cut them off. That is definitely a strategy. I don't know if it'll work, but I don't know if it'll work either. It could backfire, but it um... is definitely a viable strategy to base things in and then chop them off, you and 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 pincer them off afterwards. You'd have to have some, like, you definitely have to make sure you had some really well offensive minded tank divisions ready to pinch that off as quickly as possible. Um, and I need to, like, separate my. Well, I don't know. I like my tanks and my infantry together. Um, the I don't other, know if the other thing helpful. I'll note is you do have a border on the south of Bulgaria, right? In, like, the Istanbul region. So you um, could probably push, like, Bulgaria really easily. Oh, you're right. I probably could just go ahead and take it. Yeah, you might be able to, like, simplify some of this border relatively quickly. I, I mean, I don't know, you know, what to recommend. I'm going to be focused entirely on the east. Right. Your responsibility yeah, will be to not lose the west. So, you know, There's... good luck with that. <laughs> so much going on. Jesus. Um, I just want to add to you if I could. 31 of... How's your manpower? Uh, my manpower is at 5.32 million. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you did change your laws. Good. Yeah, and that's, that's I did fine. That. I'm still trying to figure out this, the, the buttons and everything. That's the thing. Um, as, I, as I constantly try to not make a mess of everything, is it possible for me to get rid of all that stuff? Okay, finally. I figured out how to do that. Now, do I want to take? It's old and obsolete. I'm not making enough artillery. And that's not what I want to do. No, no, no. Cancel that. I should just cancel the motorized, but now one factory, get the efficiency, it'll be good. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Bulgaria is it's so similar in color. To Italy, that I'm trying oh. to draw a border on both, and it's not working. I'm like, why is this not working? Yeah, once you're in a war with them, it'll let you draw one border across them both, but yeah. Okay. 
think that's going to be fine like that. I think I can take my other army. And... I got time to train, right? Okay, well... Yeah, okay. Do that. I think I need to move all my planes over that way as well. well what the hell? Let's do it. Right. Yeah, you got a couple of gaps in the Japanese border. Now, for this, like, if you have any sort of, like, really lightweight division design, mm -hmm. um, that would be fine. Okay. Got enough going on there. Those guys are still moving over there. Jesus. And my sea turkeys um, are... You know what? I should probably just come to your sea turkeys. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, my marines. Like, yeah. And you're definitely still going to want some ships buzzing around the Black Sea to make sure that your various convoys and stuff don't get interrupted. Although, since you have control of Restumble, I'm not sure any enemy um, ships can actually get into the Black Sea. I think you might have that pinched off. Now, one thing you could do, your cavalry divisions are probably not very strong. You could change them into regular infantry or something. Um, yes, and how is that possible again? Uh, well, if you select the army, and then you select, you know, whatever, like, specific division, specific army you want to change. Mm -hmm. Okay, at the, near the top of the army window, there's like, you'll see a red trash can, and then you'll see a double arrow button that says change yep. division template. So there you go, you click on that, and you pick the new division template that you want it to become. No, oh, okay. So, uh, what's better than cavalry is going to be obviously tanks. Uh, sure, oh, if go. you have the tanks, absolutely. I will it'll tell you in the pop-up window, um, like after you choose the division type, it'll tell you in the pop-up window how much equipment you'll need and if you have enough. I mean, you can always just say yes anyway, but if you don't have enough, say, tanks, and you make a tank division, then that division's going to be super weak sauce. <laughs> right, initially, yeah, but uh, I'm not at war at the moment with these particular guys. Uh, I will be soon, but... Yep, we got... Uh, we got three months uh, I'll cancel that one then hmm paratroopers more marines starting to make transports but yeah it's the infantry equipment that's still I mean my guys aren't short infantry equipment but they are short like the newest kind and I'm just I'm researching nuke stuff for fun apparently okay <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to go down there for the reinforcement because the aviation effort's still not going to be handy for me unless... I have annexed... Um... Oh, one second. We can hardly disarm after these threats. Okay. Oh. Japan is definitely getting uppity. Mm-hmm. Sure, base. Okay, construction repair. Oh, it's always repair. No, my bad. This... Does this count military factories? No. Hang on. All right. There we go. And let's go ahead and see if I can... Oh, I got new research and everything. Jesus, there's so much stuff that just goes so fast. Um, But I have my atomic research now done. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I do, yeah. Right, you know what? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and take too long to do fine. that, though. Experimental rockets. You know what? I'm still focused on it. Let's do it. Okay. You know, you do have to survive to that point, of course. Yes. All right. Ordering something days. I can do that. No problem. <laughs> uh, let's get some more civilian factories, I think. Um, well, you know what's better? Actually, none of that's actually better. Yeah, more civilian factories. And we'll transport planes. I don't know if I want to start doing anything with that yet. Probably not. That should be good. More justification. We get that out of my way. Insufficient resources. Again, on the rubber. Hmm. These guys are on infantry too, right? Yeah, good. So even with the recon, we're good there. That's nice. I don't have any more support. And yeah, I don't have enough artillery to add actual artillery to this. All right, do I have a front line over here on uh, Japan? 
But I do have the support one, so that's good. Um, yeah, you have one in the, the northeast. Or you did. Doesn't look like you do anymore. No, looks like I'm, I'm kind of losing out on that um, front you're, line. Yeah, your dudes are still there, but... Now, again, you created front line. The front line you created is so long, it wraps around the entirety of Manchuko. And that's no good. It's probably too long to be reasonable. At the very least, you can trim down the front line so it doesn't include the People's Republic of China, because I'm guarding that. What if I just moved um, moved into there? Now, Manchuko, is Manchuko going to be allied with Japan? Yeah, yeah, they're a puppet of Japan. That's Effectively, I... they're, they're part of Japan, so you definitely have to be around them. Uh, Menguoko is also part of Japan. Oh, wait, 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 stop. I, I, one of my biggest um, problem, I think, when I'm selecting or trying to draw plans is I'm, I'm so used to left-clicking instead of right-clicking to draw. Yeah, some things are left-click, some things are right-click. It's actually slightly inconsistent. One of my biggest whines is the fact that the way you set up a garrison is very similar to the way you assign sea zones for ships, but one okay. is left-click and one is right-click for no goddamn reason. Uh-huh. Actually, you know what I need to do? Can I, can I say no to that? Just say no to that, please. That was the worst front line ever. You know, I really should not have made them uh, mountaineers. Well, so I'm torn. Okay, I made basically my regular infantry, like all my regular infantry divisions, are mountaineers. And mm -hmm. part of it is I am going to be doing a lot of legitimate fighting in the mountains. The thing is, mountaineers need a lot more equipment. Equipment is the thing I'm, I'm hard up on, whereas I have, like, infinite manpower. So, like, maybe it's not the way to go. I don't know. Once the fighting on, like, the mountainous parts of Southeast Asia are done, and maybe I'm helping you push back against Germany, then, you know, I'll, I'll reconsider reorganizing my stuff. We'll see. Okay. Yeah, doing that. They don't have paratroopers... Oh, no. We don't have level 1 paratroopers done yet. Not that it's relevant. Although, I don't know. Maybe. Yay, research time discount. So much stuff to do. Uh, right, I have to know. Oh, yes, I need to do this. That's the whole idea. I was supposed to start that a little while ago, I think. Shit. Dramatically reduced, like, no ahead of time penalty for 1942 weapons for me to research. I could have started a little while ago. That's going to help a lot. Because normally there's a pretty brutal penalty for researching things ahead of time. But sometimes you can get a, um... A national focus that when you complete it gives you a discount to the ahead of time penalty sometimes it's 50 percent, sometimes it's a hundred percent which means you can just research something that's way ahead of time and that is awesome anyway this might be a good time for us to put in a cut like okay we are we are roughly a month away from the start of the war and this that is, is going to uh, be this is going to be rough uh, i notice you still don't have uh, all of the german front covered no, because I have other fronts. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to cover every front, and I, I haven't... Yeah. I yeah. Know, it's I'm going to suggest you have up. way too many people on Bulgaria. Way yeah, too many. Yeah, because I was going to fight Bulgaria, but now I'm thinking I probably shouldn't fight Bulgaria, because, yeah, I don't have enough time to, to pull that off. No, but you can. You just don't need that many troops. Also, make sure you've at least got something on your border between Bulgaria and Istanbul. Well, I do. I, well, I... Uh, mm, you don't true. have anything on that I front have... line. No, but I have my Marines going over to assault their... their yeah, border. although if you zoom into that um, that Marine order, it says no divisions. And I think it's because you have 11 Marines, and right now you can only do 10 in an invasion. Oh, balls. All right, well, okay, I'll fix that, and then we'll come back to it. All right, thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time. Later.